guys, this is Tamala, and you're watching another exciting episode of Designing with Hope Undesigned, Designing for the Home, Body, and Soul. Now, I always like the challenge of recreating items that I see in high-end stores, such as Pottery Barn, West Am, and Z Gallery. So when I ran across this free palette outside of the FedEx store, I was inspired to recreate the Pottery Barn, Abbott Island, and Hutch set. So now in this video, I'm going to show you step by step on how I recreated this look. So let's go ahead and get started. This table used to be my gift wrapping station table, but now I am going to repurpose it as the island base to mimic the base that is on the Pottery Barn, Abbott Island, and Hutch set. Now, if you notice, it already has several of the same features as a Pottery Barn set, but there's just one cosmetic change that I'm going to add to the table. Now, the cosmetic change that I did to the table, and that was to add a piece of plywood to the tabletop that was cut two inches larger around the entire top. Now, the reason why I did that is because the dimensions of the tabletop were smaller than the dimensions of the hutch itself. Now, it was this palette that I found that inspired me to recreate this Pottery Barn, Abbott Island, and Hutch set. Now, I left all the original boards intact. I just simply cut it in half because the original size of the palette was 80 inches. So I had to cut it to fit the dimensions of the table, and then I just simply added a shelf on top. So now, it's time to see the reveal. Cheers! Now what better way to greet your guests and to also take you on a tour of my Pottery Barn inspired Abbott Island and Hutch. My plans are to use this set in various ways, but in this video I am showcasing it as a drink and hors d'oeuvre station. On the top portion of the Hutch I've added a small shelf to hold my wine glasses and over to the right are a basket full of lemons and limes perfect for those mixed drinks. Now coming down to the main part of the island is where my guests will serve themselves the beverage of their choice along with small hors d'oeuvres. I've placed a silver tray to hold my two drink dispensers, one for sweet tea and one for cucumber water. Also inside of the tray are bar accoutrements needed to open wine bottles, drink napkins and a lemon and lime squeezer. Now directly behind the drink dispensers are additional drinkware, my favorite be monogram glasses. Now on the right side of the island are two additional specialty wines along with a three-tier stand filled with fresh fruit, apples, lemons, limes, and pears along with fresh bread and cheese to be placed on top of the decorative plates. So now let's come down to the second shelf or the last shelf of this island. And if you notice I've added three hooks. I needed a place to hang a tile for a quick and easy pickup of any spills. And on this last shelf is where the bottles of wines and spirits are stored, along with a bucket of ice cold bottles of water. So now I am ready to entertain my guests in style without having to interrupt the flow of my party. So now hopefully I have inspired you to get creative doing some DIY palette projects. So once again, thanks for watching Designing with Hope Undesigned, designing for the home, body, and soul. Bye for now.